Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Becky here. Today we're gonna to be trying out the Kiss Magnetic Eyeliner and Lashes. This is my very first time, well, excuse me, my third time using magnetic lashes. I tried it the other day and it was a complete, oh, it was a mess, a huge mess. Mostly due to user error, mostly my fault. Um, for you to be successful with this product, you have to read the tips. There are only two sets of directions. I don't have the box with me right now. I threw it away, I think. But there's two sets of directions. It said like line your uh, line your lids with the eyeliner, and then I had like a list of six different tips. If you do not read those tips, then you will not be successful. So this will be my first time actually wearing the lashes for a full day because I tried it out the other day. Like I said, it was a huge mess applying it and then it only lasted about three hours. Hopefully this will be a success and I will be giving you the tips and tricks that I've learned from the first two fails. Um, as a warning, I am not very good at liquid liner. I don't know why I picked up this product now that I'm thinking about it, but yeah, so let's get started. All right, so here's the liquid liner. I'm Okay, tip number one, it's, this is not on the box. Keep this upright at all times, do not. I've never had this issue with any other liquid liners, but if you rotate this um, liner any which way other than upright, it will come spilling out. This liner is a very fluid, so be careful. Anyway, so tip number one, shake, shake, shake. Tip number two. So here are the lashes, right? It has five magnetic bands on them. So wherever those bands are, line the liner where those bands are going to land. Like any other lashes, uh, strip lashes, make sure you cut it, make sure it fits the eye. I already cut these last time. I cut the inside. So, see those bands? Anyway, it has little bars on it. And those are the magnets. This is where I messed up royally last time. I treat this as if it were real liner. And so I got it too close, and this is what happened. Oh my God, ow, 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 ow. Do you see this? Oh. So, do not get it too close to the inner part of your eye, and don't worry about making a uh, cat eye with it. Use another eyeliner to create the preferred eyeliner look that you like, okay? So I grabbed this L'Oreal Voluminous Liner Noir. I'm not really, like I said, I'm not very good at eyeliner, so I had to go buy one after I tried this out. Also, tip number three, I think one tip, I don't know, whatever, tip number one. When you line this, line it two to three times, it said, in order to get the strongest bond. So, I'm going to apply it. first. I'll let that sit. They said let it dry. I need a fan. I'm sweating. Oh, is there anyone else out there that gets super anxious while putting on eyeliner? Or is it just me? Yeah, for the third time. Okay, so I just dropped the bottom part of this. But it didn't spill anywhere. That's kind of shocking probably because I lost so much product the first time around. <laughs> oh, you guys, it was everywhere. I got up. I was wearing white the first time. And here I go again. So here's the lash. This is the easy part. I love this part. It goes on so quickly and easily. You see that? That went on and like, once I adjusted it and got comfortable enough to put it down, it took two seconds and it feels very comfortable. It's like everything else though, takes a little practice. better. 
why it doesn't like me. Ah, that's good. Okay, I just, I was being too gentle with it. Don't worry about being too gentle. Just throw it on there. So that's it. I'm done. So it is 7.30 at night. I've been wearing these lashes since 10 o'clock. What do y'all think? They look pretty good, huh? Now I did have to touch up on the uh, the other eyeliner, the normal eyeliner, uh, because it was just wearing off right here. I wouldn't recommend the eyeliner. It's not, well, it definitely was not my favorite. And uh, yeah, I really like these strip lashes. Yes, the first time, like I said, you have to follow those tips um, as well as the direct, I mean, the directions don't really tell you much, but those tips, if you do not follow those tips on the back, like I said, you will fail with these lashes. So make sure you do that. And yeah, besides that, they will last all day. I, this, I mean, look, I did feel like I could feel them though throughout the day. Uh, it could be just because I'm not used to having lashes or it could just because it has could be because it has like a, a thicker band. And then just take your uh, liquid oil free. This is just like the generic brand from Target. Um, eye makeup remover and it, the eyeliner is so easy to clean off. So yes, for a girl who, like I said, is horrible at eyeliner and strip lashes, this is a game changer. So I'm into it. Uh, Maybe I'll be getting ready in the future when we're able to go out and maybe for a girls night, I'll pop these on. I really enjoyed them. And I felt super glammy. Glammy, is that a word? Glam. <laughs> I felt super glammy all day long and I had nowhere to go. I think I'm just gonna slide these off. And call it a night. <sighs> so easy. And I could just pop them back on if I wanted. This is too fun. Literally too fun. <gasps> I mean, seriously, no damage to your eyelashes. Super quick and easy. Anyway, I'm gonna take them off. <laughs> Remember to put them back on this thing. That's so cool. Oh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching again. Y'all have a good night and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.